stepper motors have been installed and as well as the uh, stepper motor coupler and uh, the threaded rods so what i'll be doing next is to attach the cable and do some basic test Alright, the two twin towers is fully assembled and as you can see it's looking good. I have the cable attached here just to test the movement and it's doing okay. And I'm yet to test the second um, gantry to see whether it's moving well or not. And um, also there's a slight problem that I would like to address. Um, so it turns out that this 8mm steel road might be too thin for this length because in the middle there's a flex so when I move the gantry all the way to the middle uh, just be patient I don't even need to get to the middle before you see exactly what I'm talking about and I have a solution for it but I just want to address this so that everyone doesn't get confused as to where this comes from so see if I move tower like this it, it twists I'm not sure if you can see from that angle, it's a twist, so it's not steep water, and I don't like that. So my solution is I'm going to create a little um, bracket here, which will be here and on the other side, and then I'm going to have like a um, bearing um, attached to it, which will be on the base of the of the table. So whenever I, um, it's moving, the two bearings on each side will be resting on the table, so it doesn't create this um, um, twisting motion. So I hope it works and then we can uh, move on from there. All right, uh, here's the proposed solution that I discussed uh, earlier in the video as regarding uh, the wobble effect of the uh, tower. So this is, a external, this is an external bracket that I designed to accommodate the bearing at the base here. And then this um, bracket will be screwed to the side of the tower base mount. And there will be one on each side. So I need four more of these. So once they are fully uh, printed, uh, we attach them. All right guys, here's an update. So far, I have been able to finish printing and designing these um, supports for the uh, base door. As you can see, the wobble has reduced and it's sliding pretty much better now. I have the same on the other side too as well, as you can see. Um, so the wobble has reduced and there's more stability to the um, base door. So what I want to do next now is I want to go ahead and install some limit switches to the end of the um, to the end of this um, gantry, so as to have a kind of a way to have a zero point and a, so as to have an ohming point. So I'm going to add four limit switches and then the other one will be soft limit. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, guys. Finally, I was able to sort out the limit switches and all the settings I needed to do. It was quite um, um, difficult for me in the beginning because I was following the instructions from uh, RC Kitly website and I pretty much followed every steps and it didn't work how it's supposed to work. I was having issue with the limit switch. So when you start home in position and it's um, initiates the uh, limit switch it doesn't go back up it just continues to go down I've tried to reverse the direction so it turns out that from the settings um, from the settings I needed rather than changing dollar five to um, to one I should have left it at zero and then the rest seems to work fine and also another thing that was a bit confusing to us uh, was from the um, video a I was thinking that the signal cable for the um for the A axis of the CNC is connected to D42. From the video, I said it was connected to D42, but it was until later that I realized that it wasn't that D42, it was that um D um D42. 
D49 on your RAMs board. So uh, that's basically what I did and I was able to sort everything out. So I'm just going to show you quickly uh, a demonstration of the homing function. So I'm going to home now. That's the z-axis. And then the e-axis. Okay. Does it twice and then y axis? All right, there you have it all zeroed out as you can see. Woman function working. Thank you very much for watching that video. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for the final parts of this um, for access CNC build and do make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out when I upload a new video thanks for watching